À travers une succession de titres plus réussis les uns que les autres, la série NBA de Touquet a littéralement éradiqué toute forme de concurrence et se positionne aujourd'hui comme la seule et unique simulation de basketball. Une situation de monopole qui, plutôt que de ramollir les équipes de Touquet, les pousse à proposer d'année en année une expérience toujours plus authentique et plus poussée. Et c'est à l'occasion de la présentation de leur dernier titre, NBA Touquet 12, que nous avons pu poser nos questions au producteur Eric Bellich. A commencer par les nouvelles features de cet épisode. The first feature from NBA 2K12 that really sets it apart from last year's game is the addition of the NBA's greatest feature. Uh, this feature uh, contains what we think are 15 of the greatest and most influential players in NBA history. And what it does is it allows you to play games throughout this player's career. Uh, so for example, I can play as Bill Russell, one of the greatest defenders of all time. Uh, and I can use his 1965 Celtics to take on the 65 Lakers, you know, with Jerry West in there. Uh, so it really gives you a chance to kind of jump into history and play, you know, these old style games that kind of defined, you know, the, the history of the NBA and where, where it came from and where it is today. And one of the key aspects of these games is you're playing with it, with the rules for the year that that game was played in, and ultimately the presentation revolves all around it as well. Choosing the 15 players for the NBA's greatest was a big challenge for us. Uh, some of the players were very easy. Uh, there's really no argument when it comes to guys like Michael Jordan and Larry Bird and Magic Johnson. Uh, but when you start getting to the end of the list, there was a lot of fighting on, you know, Isaiah Thomas and Patrick Ewing and John Stockton. And people thought, you know, this guy should be in over him or that guy should be in. Uh, at the end of the day, we all came together and agreed upon this final list of 15 that we have. And we think it's the best possible list uh, to put together. And ultimately, we think we gave fans, you know, exactly what they wanted. En plus de proposer un casting complètement dingue, pour peu que l'on soit amateur de basketball, NBA 2K12 mise également sur la présentation, toujours dans cet esprit d'authenticité. Upgrading the presentation with an NBA 2K12 was a very, very big focus for us. Uh, you know, right from the time you put in the disc to any time you turn it off, you're going to notice that the game is constantly giving you television quality broadcasts. Uh, you're going to see, you know, prior to games, you're going to see what we call dynamic intros, where players are going to be, you know, celebrating, doing high fives, and, and basically doing high energy activities to get the player hyped for the game. Uh, and we kind of created all of these new aspects by bringing in, you know, network talent from other, other TV stations across, you know, the United States who have worked on NBA basketball games. And it really gave us, our development team, a very professional perspective on how to properly, you know, deliver graphics onto a screen during an NBA broadcast. And that comes, you know, from the start of the game, to the tip-off, to the timeouts, to when the camera pulls out, to when to zoom in on players. Uh, just really, it really made a night and day difference when you play this game over last year, just on the presentation side alone. Cela fait maintenant quelques temps que la grève des joueurs sévit au sein de la Ligue, le tout pour une histoire de salaire. On pourrait alors croire que ce mouvement a affecté d'une manière ou d'une autre le développement de Touquet 12. Uh, it actually didn't, the strike did not affect our development process at all. Uh, while the NBA may be on a lockout for a very short period of time, uh, NBA 2K is not. Uh, so when you play our game, you have access to all 30 teams. Every player in the league has been, you know, been updated and, and you know, brought to their current version. Uh, and we also have, you know, this NBA's greatest feature that I talked about. It's kind of like getting two games in one. You know, we, we have the full NBA, but we also have, you know, these 34 classic teams, you know, from NBA's yesterday and their past to kind of give you that holdover until the NBA is ready to play. So we really feel like we put together a package that, you know, is lockout proof and really gives our fans something to do before and after the season starts. La grève ne semble donc pas inquiéter outre mesure Touquet. Mais le développement n'a pas été de tout repos pour autant. Les défis à relever pour rester au top de la simulation de basketball étant plutôt nombreux. There were a couple uh, different really challenging ones. The first one is uh, getting everything done. Uh, with the addition of these 34 classic teams, we really, you know, were put under the gun to get, you know, all these player heads delivered in time and get these players' signature styles and signature shots to play exactly like they did, you know, when they played in their careers. Uh, and, and beyond that, we have other new systems in the game, like we have a new uh, dynamic collision system in the game. And what this feature is, is any time two players collide, the results of that collision is going to be based on, you know, real-time physics, such as the direction the player came in from, the height of the player, the weight of the player, you know, the weight of the player getting hit. Uh, any time you see a collision, that result is organically created, and the result is just output right then. In previous years of NBA 2K, 
we had what we called two-player animations, where two players would collide, and the animation was captured in that regard, so the result was always the same. So if you had, you know, a little tiny five-foot guy hit a seven-foot guy, the player would fall over the same, exactly the same. And it makes no sense because player height and size obviously matters when people collide. You know, bigger people usually win. Uh, so this, this, this system really gave us a chance to emulate that, that real-time physics of NBA players because it is an aggressive sport and it's very physical and we really wanted to capture that for our fans. Concurrencée à ses débuts, la série de Touquet est désormais l'unique représentante d'un sport ultra populaire aux états unis Une situation que nous explique Eric. Uh, well, one thing regarding NBA simulation basketball is uh, our game has gotten so big and so popular uh, that every all the people who purchase other games have kind of flocked to the NBA 2K series, which has pushed other games actually out of the market. Uh, Sony's game is no longer in development, uh, so for a time it was just us and the NBA Live series. Uh, but NBA Live encountered a rough patch. Uh, all their fans jumped to 2K, so NBA Live is also out of the picture as well. So we're currently the only simulation basketball game on the market, and I think that's due to you know, the amount of authenticity we put in our game. Uh, we have a singular goal that we never change, we never stray from. I think a lot of companies are constantly changing their target. You know, one year they want to be simulation, the next year they want to be mass market, the next year they want to be hardcore, and just going back and forth really damages your product. And I think the fact that we have such good management that understands that what our fans want, which is they want a great game of basketball, and we never lose focus from that. And I think it speaks volumes to our final product, which is complete authenticity and the best playing basketball game ever made. And I think that's that sheer level of focus is what helps drive our game to the success that it is, you know, received. On a maintenant hâte d'avoir la bête en main, histoire de vous en faire une critique dans les normes sans vigueur. Et en attendant, on vous laisse avec un des derniers trailers de NBA 2K12 intitulé Momentus, une véritable leçon de montage. Catch me in my Mercedes, but for nice size, baby screaming shady till I die. Like I have a paradise, life's crazy, so I live it till the fullest, till I'm swayzy and you only live it once. So I'm thinking about this nice, nice lady, wait, don't stop me now for I get on a roll. Let me tell you what this pretty little dame's name is Cause she's kinda famous And I hope that I don't sound too heinous when I say this You more think that I'm a genius Really I belong inside a dang insane asylum Can't I try to trail the parks crazy I am back and I am razor sharp Baby in this back with a capital B With an exclamation mark Maybe you should listen when I put the linguistics Cause I wanna rip this mystical You don't wanna become another victim of statistical Living life in the fast lane But at the speed of life and I can't slow down To be relaxed in orbit My slow flow is euphoric It's like a rap endorphin Go back and forth in. More beef than you can pack a fork in I'm living the life of the infinite enemy down My tenement chimney now The semi serenity pal Spin them around Entering in the vicinity Now it's all them and them But he threw it a candy And ate the rap I chewed him up And spit it him out Girl, pity up, not kick it Look at around this club And it looks like people Are having a stupid now Yeah, a little ch ch trailer trash Take a look who's back And tip the town And after taking that I'ma catch you This gonna be fascinating This gonna say the whole rap Ain't the way on top of the affidavit Graduated from master the beta, meaning I'm on fire off the top, might wanna back up the data, rolling over hip hop in a verbal tractor trailer, oh man he's sick, you can normally ask a hater, don't it make sense, this is just like a bag, dropped in the lap of a tax evader, oh man he's sick, and I make that drop like a sack of potatoes, what girl on the crack a later, tell you that you just dropped a tater, you're rolling with a player, you won't be exaggerating when you say you're living life in the fast lane, but at the speed of life and I can't slow down.